Okay, new knife, folks. Um, yes, this is the one I mentioned the other day that, uh, you know, what's the new knife I got? No, it's not a Spyderco. I still like Spyderco, but I'm just hung up on the pricing of those things. Just not certain I'm getting what I want out of that kind of price, <clears throat> you know. So anyways, this is a Kershaw Blur. This is actually not one of their high-end versions. This is, I think it's the 440 Steel. It's the tactical version. And honestly, folks, I got this from Walmart. And uh, believe it or not, I don't think I've seen it cheaper online, which is, I guess, maybe uh, a little... Uh, Good for me price-wise, but uh, I don't know if they're using this as a loss leader or something and cutting out smaller companies, but I don't know. Great price from Walmart on this thing if you can find it there. Um, American made and uh, has the assisted opening, speed safe I believe they call it. And this is the Tanto version, Tanto, however you want to say it, you choose. Um, it has the serrations on it, extremely sharp point and blade actually. Um, you know, I'm, I kind of was gravitating to this one because I'm not a huge fan of the recurve blade on the normal version. And this doesn't look so bad. It's pretty much straight, but the Tonto Edge. Um, and even the Tonto Edge is not even that aggressive. It's maybe, um... Uh, a lesser angle on this version and I don't know I just thought it looked cool um, again it's amazingly sharp I find myself using this portion of the blade mostly that part right there is real sharp here up here this is part right here it's still sharp but it's not used as much by me for and so I use this more for detailed work um, honestly, the serrations, I would like the same knife without the serrations. I don't think there's enough blade edge to really be, to be used on this one, so it's more for uh, some detailed work. Um, it is sharp. The serrations are extremely pointy. Um, they're nice, but they're actually, I think the spacing on the serrations is too far apart and it just seems to cause more damage to things than actual cutting. I think this, I haven't tried it yet, but for rope, this would be really good. Cardboard boxes, not so much. And paper, certainly not. Um, so I think this is probably heavy use serrations. I know that steel quality is not the, high, the highest in, but hey, this wasn't the most expensive knife either. I really wanted to test these things out and I'm um, pretty happy with it. Um, specifically, I don't think I have the right lens on for this, but this is the 1670 TBLKST version, so black Tanto basically. Um, you know, it's it's I like the coating on it. It doesn't I have used it a decent amount already and it's not that damaged. Um, the handle is great. I think I've heard, I've seen other videos, people describe the handle as basically the skateboard material. I would say it is kind of rubberized and, and it is very grip, gripping and I, I really like that. It was a surprise. You know, I think I, the reason why I hadn't got one of these earlier is that I played with one in the store and I think that particular model they had in the store was jacked up or something because it just didn't work very well at all. Um, hard to open, etc. But um, this is great. Um, very fast, easy to use, and I don't know if you're noticing, but it's speed safe. But I can close it extremely easy with one hand, and I'm I'm loving that. That's that's kind of my one of my gripes with the Benchmade uh, 580. You cannot do that safely with the 580. So to me, that, that's pretty cool. Um, this is actually much smaller than what I expected. The um, knife, it, rel I need to come do a comparison video to some other uh, knives, but smaller in the hand, which I kind of like for EDC, and uh, width-wise, much smaller than I expected. 
that's the thing with the 580 and the 585 it's the width is also pretty deep um, so it's not uh, you know you're carrying it basically that's what I'm trying to say uh, I modified the clip already to be tip up carry that just seems to be my thing lately uh, I like that easy access to it so that was an easy modification that's with the Torx wrench I think it was a Torx 7 or 6 um, so highly recommended I would say that I'm because of this I, I'm actually very surprised I guess I was expecting something different uh, I'm now looking at getting another one maybe the S30V version maybe um, even with the recurve blade I'm really playing with this one a little longer to see how that mechanism is going to hold up over time and then make my decision there I would say I have the standard issue with Kershaw's. I think for me, the pocket clip is a little too tight, but not as tight as uh, some other Kershaw's that I have. Um, one dislike I have about this knife is that these thumb studs, which are going to be hard for me to focus in on, are they're good to use. They're grip-like, gripping, but they stick out a hair above the knife handles and if you drag these across something it's going to scratch the surface so if you have um, well specifically I had a leather sofa that I put this on and just kind of drag it across and no major damage but a little bit of a scratch there so you need to be careful with these thumb studs. They are, they are sharp and will scratch things. So um, something to think about there. Just not a big deal. Just be careful, right? Don't don't, don't drag it across a leather sofa. Um, so other than that, I'd say highly recommended. Recommended. Um, you know, I would say that out of the box it was very sharp. Blade lineup was great. There is zero play whatsoever okay nothing um, ranking wise I would say that Benchmade is still a higher quality product with materials and blades uh, but not far behind is Kershaw for their assisted opening knives uh, so ranking Benchmade number one uh, Kershaw number two, SOG still uh, number three. Uh, Price-wise, if you're looking at an assisted opening knife, knife, I would skip the um, SOGs and go to the blur. So, just my two cents, I guess. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. I know there's some other reviews out there, but my take on it. Thanks.